Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today, we're tackling a common issue with NBA 2K14. Many players face the dreaded no CD DDD ROM drive found error. This prevents the game from launching. It can be frustrating. Don't worry. We've got some easy fixes to get you back on the court. Let's dive in. First, try running the game as an administrator. Right-click the NBA 2K14 shortcut on your desktop. Select Run as Administrator. This gives the game the necessary permissions. Sometimes, lack of admin rights causes the error. If that doesn't work, move on to the next step. Second, Compatibility Mode can often resolve this. Right-click the NBA 2K14 shortcut again. This time, select Properties. Go to the Compatibility tab. Check the box that says run this program in compatibility mode for. Choose an older version of Windows. Windows XP or Windows 7 often work well. Apply the changes. Then, try running the game again. This can trick the game into thinking it's running on an older system. Third, manually mounting the ISO image might help. If you downloaded the game as an ISO file, you need to mount it. Windows 10 and 11 have built-in ISO mounting. Right-click the ISO file. Select Mount. This creates a virtual drive. Ensure the game is looking at this virtual drive. Some older operating systems may require a program like Daemon Tools. Make sure the mounted drive is active before launching the game. Fourth, check your antivirus software. Sometimes, antivirus programs mistakenly block the game. This can lead to the no CD DDD ROM drive found error. Temporarily disable your antivirus. Then, try running the game. If it works, add the game's installation folder to your antivirus exceptions list. This prevents future conflicts. Remember to re-enable your antivirus afterwards. Fifth, ensure the secure ROM driver is correctly installed. NBA 2K14 uses secure ROM DRM. Problems with SecureOM can cause this error. Locate the SecureOM installation files within the game's directory. Run the setup program. Follow the on-screen instructions. A fresh installation of SecureOM may resolve the issue. Finally, a clean reinstall of the game is often a last resort. Uninstall NBA 2K14 completely. Delete any remaining files in the installation folder. Redownload the game. Install it again. Follow the steps we discussed earlier, such as running as administrator. These fixes should solve the no CD DVD ROM drive found error. We hope this helped you get back to playing NBA 2K14. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. Consider supporting the channel by checking out our other videos. Let us know in the comments if you have any other issues or suggestions. See you in the next video.